What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece treasure cruise video And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys uh, the team that I'm using in order to farm the brand new 30 stamina kimono crocodile Fortnite dungeon now before we get into it I just want to say like this Fortnite really should have been out a long long time ago uh, this Fortnite was supposed to be out probably like half a year ago, maybe even before that even. Uh, and they're only just bringing it out now, which I don't know why this Fortnite was delayed so much. It literally, there is no explanation for it. I really don't know why. Um, but anyways, the units that you can get in this Fortnite dungeon, of course, is going to be the Kimono Crocodile, the Kimono Mr. 3, and there's also a Kimono Mr. 2 Bon Clay. Uh, the skill books you can get, obviously, Sabo books is what a lot of people are going to be after. I personally still need a max out my Sabo. I need two more skill ups. So hopefully I can go ahead and farm up those skill books uh, and then max him out really quickly. Uh, but other skill books that you can get, you can get Thatch, which is a, a really good special. Uh, you can get Strong World Luffy and also Strong World uh, Chopper as well. And then some other units in there as well. Uh, and then you can get Blue Boosters and Evolvers. Uh, but all in all, it's actually like a really bad Fortnite dungeon just considering the stuff that we have now. It's really, really delayed as I said. If this came out like half a year ago, it would have been a lot better. But it is what it is. And uh, well, we're here now. And, uh, yeah, well, I think a lot of people are only going to be farming this just for the Sabo books. And also, you can sock it out any copies of Bon Clay, Mr. 3, or Crocodile. But let's get straight into it, guys. The only condition for this Fortnite states that you can only um, encounter orbs that are of colors. So, you cannot encounter any tandem or you cannot encounter recovery orbs. But the team that I'm going to be using is going to be a double Legend Kuzan team. Now, obviously, you don't need this team in order to beat the dungeon. This is just a really easy team in order to beat it. Now, I know a lot of people are going to ask me straight away the ship. The ship is the, um, the, the Kuro ship, which you can get from Story Mode if you complete all of the Story Mode missions from Syrup Village. And what it does is, is it makes quick characters attack 1.4 times, their health 1.3 times, and reduces special cooldown by 1 at the start of the fight. So this is going to be really, really good because it enables you to get your specials up a lot more quickly. So, uh, let's go ahead and get straight into it. So for the first... Uh, the first five stages are just really just fodder stages. Uh, not really too much to really talk about there. Um, but on stage six is where we're going to encounter Kimono Mr. 3. And also, we do have a chance to encounter Kimono Mr. 2 along the way as well. So maybe we might encounter him. I haven't found him yet. So it'd be cool if we can go ahead and encounter him. Now remember, if you are using Kuzan as a captain, you do have to go ahead and, uh, and make sure you're killing something every single turn. So Kuzan is really good for Fortnites because the first, like couple of stages are really just fodder stages um, so you can go ahead and take them out really easily with having not much attack boost and then you can quickly stack up your attack boost to get massive amounts of attack so I think Kuzan is honestly one of the best Fortnite captains just because you can rack up his captain ability really easily and because the bosses aren't really that difficult to take down uh, it enables Kuzan to just really just demolish the whole dungeon itself. Now, the team that we are utilizing is a pure blue team because the final boss is a uh, is a strength unit and Mr. 3 is a uh, is a quick unit. So, uh, bringing a quick team is fine. Uh, the only thing you have to worry about is that on the Mr. 3 stage, there is a there is a dex mob that uh, could be challenging to take down, but with Kuzan giving so much attack boost by the time we get to that final stage, uh, it's really just nothing to worry about. Uh, also, you know, you want to try and take these out as quick as possible, so attacking with the right units first against the dex mobs does help out as you saw there i was unable to kill that dex mob um but if i attacked with another unit i probably would have been able to we're going to try and get rid of these dex orbs here and uh potentially get another good orb here on our characters all right so stage six we encounter mr three so what he does is his preemptive attack will make it so that you will really pretty much not going to encounter any decks or quick orbs for the rest of the dungeon so that is exactly why we have doma on the team because doma can change all of these orbs on our crew into positive or int and psi orbs into positive so that's going to help out a lot um so i think we might actually do that here now let's go ahead and do that change all those to positive and then we'll go ahead and uh and deal as much damage as we possibly can here and have a positive orb against the dex mob boom and dope is going to come in boom. massive damage there absolutely awesome okay so now we're going to move on to the final room which is going to be against crocodile his preemptive attack will go ahead and make it so that Int and Psy characters have their attack lowered. And also, he will poison you. And the poison does about 2100 damage from memory. So, um, you know, you could bring a poison remover if you really wanted to. This team should be able to take it out in a single turn. So, let's see how we go here. 
should be able to take it out in a single turn, especially because Kuzan's just so powerful. Boom, there you go. Yeah, this team is just amazing for clearing this dungeon. It's reasonably quick, um, so I'm definitely going to be using this to farm it. You can use other units, like you can bring an NL with a friend Kuzan or a friend Marco. Marco is actually really good for this Fortnite as well. Uh, but all in all, like a, a pretty easy Fortnite with just really powerful quick teams because um, th that's the thing. Like if this Fortnite came out when it was supposed to, it would have been a little bit more challenging. But because there's so many quick units everyone has access to now, uh, it's not really that difficult at all. So you shouldn't really have too many troubles with it. Uh, but what do these units actually do? So Crocodile... 27 turn initial cooldown changes his own slot to red and other slots randomly and then reduce all enemies health by 10% that is actually a pretty good special it's just the fact that I believe it maxes at 18 turns if this maxed at like 10 11 turns this would be an amazing special ability it's just the fact that he's such high cooldown that it's not really worth it I personally am just going to keep one copy and then feed the rest to uh, my legend crocodile because I need to still socket him so he is one of the new units and then you've got Mr. 3 here, special ability, deals 10 times character's attack in quick damage to all enemies, and then adjacent slots are set to G orbs. Now, I don't remember exactly, I don't have Mr. Oh, okay, we can just use this. Okay, so the book. So you can actually draw books of the hidden boss here, and what he does is reduces bind and despair duration by 5 turns, and then heal 10 times his uh, recovery. So that's a pretty good special. I believe it maxes at like 14 turns. Um, so that's really, really good. I think that Bon Clay is the best of this Fortnite. Uh, Mr. 3 and Crocodile are average, but because um, Bon Clay has actually a really good special ability, uh, that's that's going to be used a lot. I think that's, a, that's really, really unique. So I would probably go ahead and max him out, and the others could probably just be used for sockets, but... That's going to conclude this video, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. And if you guys did enjoy it, make sure to smack the like button down below. And if you want to stay up to date with all of the content I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But other than that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video.